there, CUNY community. So I got a couple things to talk about this week. First of all, you may be aware that we have gotten rid of the October 12th Monday holiday. We have to have 180 school days a year. And since we started the school year late by two days, we got to put two days back. And the decision was made up and down the district to make to get rid of the Monday holiday. We're going to have school on Monday the 12th. Now, we're not going to have Zoom classes. We're going to follow our schedule. So for Cunha, that is uh, uh, the odd schedule. So first, third, fifth, uh, seventh period. Uh, you'll have to follow that asynchronously like you would on a Wednesday. So you're going to check in on your classes. And then Tuesday. Tuesday is our uh, even classes, 0, 2, 4, 6. That is also going to be asynchronous. You're going well, to what about Wednesday? What about Wednesday, Mr. Barnes? And Wednesday is also going to be asynchronous. So we're going to have three asynchronous days in a row on October 12th, 13th, and 14th. It's crazy, I know, but at least you won't have to Zoom, but you will be responsible for checking in on all those periods and all those days to make sure your attendance is there and to make sure that you get all the work that you need to get done. All right, so make sure parents, students, 12th, 13th, 14th, all school days, all asynchronous, okay? Now the other piece I have talked about is very serious. Uh, our students are clever. Uh, you guys know you're clever students. Parents, you know how well they adapt to technology. And so students are figuring out ways to get into Zoom classes, ways to fool teachers about their identity, ways to use different uh, emails and so on. And we're in a bit of an arms race as people figure these ways out to kind of fool teachers and get in and do inappropriate things. We are also upgrading our security more and more and more. The upshot is though, we don't want to have to sh shut everything down and make it very, very difficult for people to get in without very clearly showing their identity and so on. We're doing that. What's more important and what's better is if we learn to behave ourselves like responsible young people in Zoom meetings and so on. So whether you're disrupting with noises, music, inappropriate language, images, those things are very serious and we trace them. We have the ability to trace them. We have and do track them down and the students responsible get in big trouble. All right? so parents, Please make sure your students, you're monitoring what they're doing. Students, it's time to get some maturity, deal with what we have to deal with. We're all in this together, this crazy Zoom school. You don't want to be doing things that are inappropriate. It's not fair to your, your, your fellow students, not fair to teachers, not fair to parents, and you don't want to get into trouble because we can get you in trouble. That's the last thing I want to do. I want you guys to have the best experience you can. So maturity up responsibility up, we'll all get through this okay. All right, you guys have a great week.